play some Chicago blues style or try to okay uh, this is um, basically based around three chord shapes uh, the same sorry the same chord shape uh, just to give it that extra spice I'm using a thing called a C9 I'm going to explain what this C9 chord is in a moment if, uh, if can I spiel the spiel can you just zoom in on that please I don't know if that will come through just put okay this is a C9 chord and if you put your pause button on your feature on your um, on your YouTube facility just for a few seconds and study that or write it out whatever is useful uh, do do so we've got things about copyright laws and things like that so we've got to be careful about what you can do so um, I'm just showing you shapes at the moment so that's why we're, how we're going to do this this uh, C9 chord okay take that away and um, we're going back to the C9. We're going to show you show this chord shape. Okay, Spiel, can you can you uh, zoom in? Okay. Yeah, he's gone downhill since doing blooming ET and Jaws and plus he can't he can't get the work these days. Okay, okay. So this is basically what you've just done in, seen in the previous shot. The the uh, the tab, the chord window. I put my first finger. No, I'm going to start with the second finger. I'm going to start on the second finger on the third fret in on the fifth string, which is the root note of the chord, which is C. And then I'm going to put my first finger on the second fret of the second uh, uh, second fret of the fourth string with my first finger there. And I'm making a little triangle shape here, and I'm using my third finger on the third fret of the third string. Okay, so I've got a little triangle. Okay you check it out on that uh, chord window you'll see that now the next bit is basically getting the fourth finger and mashing that down on the top two strings okay and you get this lovely okay ah you got to heaven you got to blues heaven there because that is the sound that you want these sort of chords sound a bit too vanilla but these sound just got the right nice slice now uh, blues is made up of three chord changes. This is a C9. If you know a little bit about, uh, I'm assuming that you know a little bit about uh, the notes on this string. Okay, this is for intermediate players. So this is a C9, and I'm moving this all the way up. If we can follow the camera, please, up to this here on the eighth fret. Okay, and I'm taking it from there. This is an F, and we're going to move it up two more frets to the tenth fret. Okay, if you zoom out to that, it's, so that's the tenth fret. Okay, that's and that's the, the three we're going to use. Okay, go back to the C. If you could pan out a little bit, please. Spiel. Thank you. Okay, and a little bit more. Just pan out. That's it. All right, I'm going to put the uh, the bass line. The bass line is basically going three, five, 
three, five, which is three. These are the tabs three on the E string, the sixth string, three, five, okay, that's same string, and crossing over, three, five on the fifth string. Can't get simpler than that. Can I have a little bit closer for that? Three, five, three, five. Okay, bom, 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 bom. Give you a little bit of a bass line there. You, feel, you play this, you get the groove, you feel like you've got a bass play behind you. You play that C9. So I'm going ba, 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 and C9. And I'm going to like this, and I can pan out a little bit. I'm going to go to the F. Repeat to this bass line and go to the C and C again and go to F. It's F9, bass line, F9, C9. Yeah, just move that on one fret, that's C sharp 9, that's on the 4th fret, same shape, C9. Okay, that's the backing chords. I'm going to just do it once through, C, F, 8th fret, bass line, C, C again, say C9 that is, F9, authentic Chicago blues sound and um, later uh, I promise we'll do, play some little tasty lead bits over, over that. Okay, take care.